Hey everybody, happy fall. I'm Cheryl Moore. I'm one of the leaders in your intuitive oil community and always so excited to be a part of this group and the educational opportunities that we provide. So I'm here today with my friend and counseling colleague, Deborah. And Deborah has uh, been living and sharing doTERRA oils, I think for about a year and a half. Yes. Right? Yep. I'm really excited and happy to have her here to join us today to share some of her insights about fall and also what her favorite oil is and why. And um, just trusting because we share together this kind of counseling practice, we've been able to take our oils very much from that place of mood management forward in our life to help our clients and we really empower them in that kind of way and I know in terms of the choice of oil that Deb's going to talk to you about today that the whole piece around mood management is part mm. of why it speaks to you. Absolutely. Um, so I'm going to ask you though because you have kind of we had a little chat before we started mm -hmm. and you have a little bit of a different take on fall I do. than I do or than some of the other uh, leaders do yes. that are sharing this year and so will you tell the gang mm -hmm. what fall is for you? Sure. Um, in terms of um, my favorite oil mm -hmm. being lavender, um, my lavender here, uh, fall actually is a winding down time for me. Um, I'm very busy in the summer and um, I find that the lavender with a lot of the qualities that it has in it um, helps to just kind of calm me and bring me down um, so that I don't feel that busyness. So I'm very grateful for the fact that it has that effect on me. Okay, mm -hmm. and so I'm gonna ask you to talk a little bit more about that because um, for lots of people, people think about fall as their gearing up time to, mm -hmm. for consistency, routine, structure, going mm -hmm. back to school, all mm -hmm. those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And you talked about it as your gearing down time. Gearing down. So talk yeah. to me a little bit about how summer is busy for you versus the fall. Yeah. Just in your personal life. Yeah, in my personal life, um, being extremely social in the summer as opposed to the winter. Uh, I think that's part and parcel because of the environment we live in with the snow and stuff. Um, but I'm very busy socially and I'm very, very busy running as, as part of my self-care. Um, and so again with the lavender having that calming effect and um, that um, uh, antidepressant effect and that um, relaxing effect that puts me into my mode to be able to go into the fall and um, find my piece of, of slowing down and gearing down that I need to and I kind of use the winter to regenerate for the summer right. so so the fall allows me to that's my next step so as the seasons kind of ebb and flow, mm -hmm. and we talk about this a lot in the group because we teach our class by seasons mm -hmm. and we try to honor what that means for us intuitively. Mm -hmm. For you, it's that, I, what I feel about that and I reflect back mm -hmm. on summer is, it's that heightened time of passion, mm -hmm. yeah. which is this charged heat time, which means mm -hmm. energy and output and fun and activity. Yes. And I hear you talking about, which I know we talked a lot about mm -hmm. in the group last year in the winter, mm -hmm. being the cocoon time. Mm -hmm. So fall is like your bridge. It is. Fall Absolutely. is like your bridge. So you're going yeah. from high output yeah. to what you know will be restorative. Yeah. And there has to be a process in between mm -hmm. of gearing down. Absolutely. For so me. Mm -hmm. that's awesome because yeah. it's a different perspective yes. and it probably speaks to some of our people that are watching mm -hmm. this um, in a different way because other people, like I say, really think about mm -hmm. fall as the gear up mm -hmm. back to routines yeah. and structure and all the output they have when they have small kids yes. and their activities. Uh -huh. and. Um, but I know for me, fall mm -hmm. is also a quieter time, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. A quieter time. And mm -hmm. especially as the light starts mm -hmm. to go and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you mentioned lavender is your favorite. It's my favorite. So let's tell our audience a little bit more about lavender. Sure. Why, why do you why? love it so much? Well, I love the color. I <laughs> wore this top, not on purpose, but it is a lavender. <laughs> um, and the plant itself, when you look at it, I, I've grown several different types of, of um, lavender in my garden, but it's a very um, prestigious looking um, little plant, but it's very, you know, erect and stoic, and, and I just think that it's very, very powerful. It's a very powerful plant. Um, I, I like the ability to use it topically as well as aromatically, which is what I do. 
um, and Deuterra um, gets all of their lavender um, oil from France mm -hmm. um, because that's where the best growing is uh, the soil and all of that and nutrients for, for the lavender. Um, I also um, wanted to just mention a few of the uses um, that I have for it that I've personally used and I think if I'm really wanting to promote um, something if I've used it and it's worked for me that that is got to be the best testimonial to other people especially in my practice um, so as a nurse I also use it for um, um, people that have uh, anti-inflammatory which I also have uh, rheumatoid arthritis um, I make up uh, blends um, with with the lavender in it um, that can be applied topically um, and uh, so that really helps with the inflammatory process. Um, again, it's, it's an anti-rheumatic, uh, which is uh, really, really helpful for anybody that has um, those aches and pains. In terms of um, the fall as well, um, we think of allergies, you know, kind of just in the beginning of the, the spring and that, that season, but my allergies actually are heightened in the fall with the ragweed. So lavender is also an antihistamine. So part of um, what I also do is I um, have another roller blend that I make um, for allergies and I apply that topically, which really, really helps. Um, also, I think too, um, winter time is not the easiest time for a lot of people. It um, is, even though it's a cocooning time, it's also with the seasonal affective disorder, which I think I may have a little bit of, um, but I also love the fact that um, uh, the lavender has an antidepressant effect um, to help with depression. Again, the relaxing and the calming. Um, I use it for sleep. I also have um, these cute little uh, pillows or sachets, whatever you want to call them, that um, I put the, my, my drop of lavender on it. I put it in between my pillow um, and this one here. I love this one. Breathe Just in. Just take in the words. Breathe Just take in, in the words. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe, breathe out. out. Because right. that speaks a lot to what mm. lavender can do for you if you mm -hmm. take that moment to slow yourself down to do that. Mm -hmm. Breathe it in, breathe it out. And breathe it out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to ask you a couple questions because you mentioned sure. about your rollers and I know you love them mm -hmm. and you use lavender in lots of mm -hmm. different ways. Yeah. Can you tell everybody specifically what you would do for your rheumatoid arthritis as far as the roller? Like what, how would you actually apply sure. it? What would you do? Um, you would just take off your cap like so and wherever um, you're feeling that joint pain, for me it's my knees because I am a runner, so I will just um, roll it. I'll just roll it on the back of my hand to show you, but I would roll it on my knee joint like that, and I would just let it um, uh, uh, soak in. And so you don't actually rub it in? No, just I just it. roll it on, and I let it soak in itself. So. Um, and how do you do that every day, Deborah, or do you as do it a, when you're in pain? How do you yeah, decide? As a preventative, I put it on my knees daily. Um, and in, again, it's just experimenting that I found if I don't do it every day um, and I go run, then I'm going to feel it. So if I use it as a preventative, um, then that helps. But I also will use it um, a little bit more often after I run with maybe a different oil in it as well that's combined. Okay. And can you talk a little bit about, so lavender is a member of the flower family mm -hmm. as far as the way oils work to support us. So lavender is often the go-to. Lots of people know about it for sleep. Mm -hmm. But if you didn't like lavender, there'd be other choices because flowers in general are our calmer downers. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about lavender? I'm going to take a nice big inhaling aroma mm -hmm. of lavender while you tell people about your sleep ritual. Okay. So how do you use it for sleep? How do I use it for sleep? I put it in my diffuser with some other blends and um, I usually put my diffuser on about 20 minutes before I'm going to go to bed. Uh, it takes about 20 minutes for the um, uh, aroma to get into to the room and um, I also will put it on, uh, I have one here called um, Be Calm and Sleepy. I will put that on my inner wrists and I will put them in the creases of my arms. Um, you can put them behind your ears, behind your neck, uh, or on the bottom of your feet. And I do that nightly and I also use my little pillows with lavender. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. So do you ritually daily in order to get your best calming sleep use it always diffuser and topical? Like is that pretty traditional? It's traditional but not always. If mm -hmm. I'm somewhere where I don't have a diffuser with me um, then I'll just use my roller blend and um, I still get the same effect but I really like going to bed smelling it already in the room. Yeah. Yeah so when I'm at home that's what I do. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to say about what you're grateful for as far as the fall? One thing you mentioned to me, I heard you before when we were chatting, use the word harvest. Mm -hmm. Because you talked about lavender being harvested in the mm -hmm. fall. And it I is. know this is the season of, is. of harvesting. Yeah. Is there something specific about fall that you're really grateful for in your heart? Oh, I'm grateful for my lavender. <laughs> I am grateful for my lavender. Um, no, I am grateful for the fact that it allows me to wind down. Um, again, I've used that word a few times, but um, it is harvested in the middle of October. Um, and I think that kind of just goes hand in hand with my personal self as um, finding that around that October, November time is where I feel that I just really have to calm down so that I can regenerate for the rest of the winter. So I'm very, very grateful that um, it's worked its way into my life that way. Okay, mm -hmm. so the season of when it's actually harvested, great mm -hmm. that you mentioned about October mm -hmm. and November. Again, as you kind of follow seasons in the path of your own life, mm -hmm. it's sort of perfect tar timing. Perfect so you take timing the freshness of that lavender mm -hmm. harvest mm -hmm and bring it mm -hmm. to your body and what it's gonna do yeah. for you. It's had a whole spring and summer to grow and to be busy, right? Yes, like you. So like myself. So yeah. then come come October, that's when it's harvested. Um, when you, you know, you can, you can hang it up and dry it. You can do all kinds of things with it. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. And would I dare to ask you if you didn't have doTERRA lavender in your life, mm -hmm. if you had to manage without it, what, what would that be like for you? What would it be like? Has it become a resource that's really essential in terms of your oh, well-being? Oh, absolutely. I've got one everywhere. You've got one everywhere. <laughs> I have three on, uh, no, I have four on the go. So I have one at home, one at my one office, one at my other office, and one is always in my lunch bag. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so it's really it a resource important. that you yes, rely on. Yes, And if I didn't have it, I would... Um, I'd, I'd have probably really restless sleeps mm -hmm. and I just wouldn't feel that I would have that opportunity to allow myself to kind of unwind yeah. in the fall. And, and yeah. to, when you talk about sleep, I think about mm -hmm. like to not restore your body yeah. and your mind the way you need to. Absolutely. To be able to manage the next yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, everyone, you've heard it from uh, my good friend, Deborah that this is a resource you've got to have and a really interesting perspective as far as fall being a wind down time. And so I offer that out to you for your own consideration as you think about the bridge between summer and winter because you've taught me a lot today about thinking about that. It's uh, such a different way for me to think about because I, like I say, I do think about that gearing up for lots mm -hmm. of people with their routines mm -hmm. where summer's been a time of freedom. But I can deeply appreciate what you're talking about in terms of that social mm -hmm. output and energy output. And, and it does change mm -hmm. as things get cooler and we do fall into, fall into, did you hear that? <laughs> we do fall into a quieter season, yeah. a more reflective season. Yeah. And certainly lavender is that quieting oil. Yes. So absolutely. I hope you've learned something about lavender today. We really appreciate you being a part of this series. And of course, if you have any questions, put them in the posts. Have a great day, everyone. Bye. Thanks.